we're going to look at evaluating what we call a logarithm. Logarithms are actually created so that we could solve for exponents. So let's first figure out how you find the inverse of an exponential function. You guys have seen exponential functions before. It's when your x is the exponent. So if we switch x and y, if we're finding the inverse, what happens is the base of your exponent actually comes over and now becomes the base for your log. What was over there just stays, so x is still over there, now equals y. So logarithms really are used to work with and operate with finding exponents. So like if you guys keep looking down here, we wouldn't know how to find 3 to the power of 2.5. You just would calculate it in your calculator. Um, find the value. But if you guys were trying to solve for an exponent, how would you guys know 3 to what decimal equals 4? So that's where logarithms come into play. To find the x in that problem, we would rewrite this problem as log base 3 of 4. That 3 will come over and become the base for a log. The 4 is just over on the left hand side. X is what we have left. So it's going to be important that you guys can go back and forth between writing an expression from logarithmic to exponential form. So a logarithm of x, and we'll just call them logs, with a base b is written as log base b of x. That would be this right here. So the inverse of log base b of x equals y is true if and only if when you rewrite it, x equals b to the power of y. So what happens is we just bring the base over and that becomes the base of the log of whatever was on the left hand side y is now the only thing left and now it looks just like what you had over there so you need to be able to go back and forth between writing something in exponential form and then into logarithm logarithmic form super important um, some other things we just need to know about inverses. So exponential is the inverse of logarithm. Logarithm is the inverse of exponential. But what if you don't have a base for your logarithm? Well, a logarithm base 10 is a logarithm without a base. Because we work in place values of 10, that's the base we don't write. Like you guys wouldn't write x and y. You don't see that power of 1 even though it's there. That's what the base of 10 is. Even though you have a square root of 9, you don't see it, but it's a square root 2. If you don't see a base, it is a base 10. That's something you guys just need to know. And a logarithm base e, the inverse is written as a natural log. So that's a logarithm base e, natural log, ln. So let's go ahead and look at just practicing rewriting some of these, and then we'll actually find the values. So for writing something from log into exponential, all we do is swing the base over. So if we're writing these in exponential form, the 3 will swing over, and that's how we undo the log this becomes 3 squared. It's like addition is the inverse of subtraction. It undoes subtraction. Turning something into an exponential is the inverse or the opposite what undoes a log. And then you're left with just 9. And that makes sense. 9 does equal 3 squared. So your log base x of 8, we're going to swing that over. x cubed equals... 8, what cubed equals 8? X would be 2.
Same thing for 3. We're going to swing the base 4 over. It will now become the base for an exponent of whatever's on the right-hand side there. And we're left with 64. 64 is 4 to what power? 4 to the third. So x is 3.